Brothers and sisters, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is in danger. Muhammad bin Salman is seeing the worst failure of his life. You will be surprised to know what just happened. But first of all, tell me, do you remember all the promises that Muhammad bin Salman made when he took control of Saudi Arabia in 2017? I remember how he planned to modernize and rebrand Saudi Arabia. He presented his vision 2030, in which he planned to reduce the country's dependency on oil. He wanted to impress the Western superpowers by moving Saudi Arabia away from Islamic traditions. All he wanted to do was push Islam into the background. He wanted concerts, cinemas, and mega entertainment projects everywhere. He literally wanted to tell the world, look at us, we're modern and open now. We're no longer defined by our Islamic heritage. And at the heart of this vision, 2030 was the Line City in Noem. It was a $500 billion project. He wanted to build a 170 kilometers long city through the desert without roads or cars. This was the basis of his vision. He was absolutely ruling like a silent dictator over the kingdom for years now. But we all believe that there is one thing that man plans and there is one thing that Allah plans. And we know Allah is the best of the planners. Brothers and sisters, MBS's plan of sidelining Islamic values is now facing major failures. His vision 2030 is already shaking now. It's just 2024 and his dream is crumbling. The line is falling apart. The project is facing massive financial obstacles. Some experts are now estimating that its price could reach $1 trillion. No one is investing in the project. And with the drop in oil revenues, the government cannot afford it. Now they are downsizing it to only 2.4 kilometers. The project which MBS planned to complete in 2030 is now expected to be completed in 2050. Can you imagine this to be real? Saudi Arabia is one of the richest countries on the earth and is still unable to complete a project due to financial problems. MBS has every opportunity and resource available, but still, he is failing. I believe when someone plans to act secular just to impress the worldly powers, Allah might send them a warning. MBS wanted to show the Western world that we are a modern nation and don't rely on Islamic culture. His arrogance has taken him to a dead end. Brothers and sisters, history has many lessons for us, especially when it comes to arrogance and overambition. Remember the story of Nimrud? He was one of the most powerful kings and believed that his wealth and power have made him invincible. But Allah simply sent a tiny mosquito that entered his ear and destroyed him. Or think of Pharaoh, who ruled Egypt with an iron fist. He thought his wealth and strength could protect him forever. But when Allah willed it, he was drowned in the Red Sea. Allah reminds us in Surah Al-Imran, Say, O Allah, owner of sovereignty, you give sovereignty to whom you will and you take sovereignty away from whom you will. You honor whom you will and you humble whom you will. In your hand is all good. Indeed, you are over all things competent. Brothers and sisters, MBS's ambitions with Vision 2030 and the line are no different. He believes his wealth and power can bring success, but without the guidance of Allah, no amount of money or influence can bring success. Allah reminds us in the Quran, And do not walk upon the earth exultantly. Indeed, you will never tear the earth apart and you will never reach the mountains in height. Saudi Arabia's vision 2030 has strayed far from the Islamic values that the kingdom was built upon and we are already seeing the consequences. As Muslims, we need to remember that it's not wealth or power that brings success, but our connection to Allah. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, told us, Whoever is humble for the sake of Allah, Allah will raise him in status. And whoever is arrogant, Allah will bring him down. We are seeing this unfold before our eyes. Brothers and sisters, ambition and progress are good, but when they come at the cost of our faith, they are bound to fail. Let's not get carried away by worldly success and forget our ultimate purpose. Please share this video with as many people as you can and help us spread this message. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. See you in the next video.